Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're reading for October 26th, 27th, 28th, and 29th, Monday through Thursday, for my Virgos. Hello, my Virgos. How are you? Now, you know that when I'm reading Monday through Thursday, I'm using my two Radley Valentine decks. I'm using my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main, main reading, and then I'm using, I'm going to pull one Angel Tarot card, okay? Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Okay. My Virgos, be aware, I think that a Taurus is going to be very strong in your week. I don't know if that's going to be positive or negative. Generally, I think you deal well with Tauruses, but just know that. Know that I think that, you know, you're going to be working closely with the Taurus. Anyway, I have three cards. The middle one is reversed, so that to me has a lot of, that has a lot of strong, has a lot of energy. Anyway, one thing I want to tell you about is on the 27th, the 27th, Tuesday, um, 9.34 Eastern Standard Time, 9.34 p.m. Now, Mercury is still retrograde. It is in Scorpio. Go to the Scorpio overview to know more. Scorpio. And it will be transitioning into Libra, 9.34 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 27th. Seven minutes later, uh, at 9.41 p.m., again, Eastern Standard Time, Venus, which is direct, will be going into Libra also. Now, this could be something that's very, very positive. Well, either way, it's, you know, if, you know, Libra is about the scales. Libra was a little bit, you know, was shaking things up when we were in Libra season. So I'm not sure if that's going to continue. I would think that it may. I'm feeling like there's going to be a lot of um, what I'm going to call, and I did call, emotional justice. Okay? So that could be one of those things as it, as it transitions. Because remember, I feel that, um, or I believe that, uh, Mercury retrograde has a lot of things to do with universal karma also. So let's see what happens. Okay, Monday through Thursday for my Libras. I'm sorry, for my Virgos. I'm talking about Libras. For my Virgos, let's see what we have. Okay, first card is Decisions, 15. Okay, so we have a 10 and a 5, or we can have three fives. So five, five, five. A lot of us see those five, five, fives. You know, that there's a lot of things to do with change with that. It could be positive, negative. It could be neutral. Um, it could be a 10 and a 5. 5 meaning a change is coming. And then, then a 10 is, you know, transitional energy too. So anything like that. Archangel Jophiel, and I've been talking about the Archangels a little bit more. So write down Archangel Jophiel's name because you may need to call upon Archangel Jophiel, especially if a decision comes to you. If there is a new opportunity, a new chance, a new um, direction, a new path, because that's all that this is about. That's what this is about. You know, it's like, you know, it's which path. And the thing is, my Virgos, you may not even have been looking for this change. So there could be a promotion coming for you. Um, there could be, you know, something, again, I feel like it's something you weren't really looking for, uh, but it comes to you. It just arrives at your doorstep or on your phone, okay, or in your email. So, Archangel Jophiel, decision. Now, release yourself from that which holds you back, a need to detox, unnecessary worry based upon based on a lack of self-confidence. I do feel like there is something completing for you, and I don't know if that's actually, maybe if that's training, Maybe that's some sort of study. Maybe that's, you know, I feel like there is a completion. And with that completion, you know, again, you know, you need to get that out. You need to, again, promote yourself. Um, promote yourself so you can be promoted. And the thing is, you know, that thing that I'm always saying, always try. Now, I do feel, too, that my Virgos, that you are kind of, and again, maybe this is that Libra influence of whatever's going to happen with Mercury, but I feel like you are calculating out the risk factors versus, you know, okay, if I do this, I've got a 73.8% chance of getting a good result. If I don't, I have, then what would that have been? 26.2% of not. So it's kind of, you know, it's like you're weighing your decisions, or you're weighing whatever it is you need. And I'm going to say again, 
you know, if you know if it's something you've been wanting, if you don't try, the answer will definitely be no. If you do try, it could still be a no, but it could be a yes. This one is reversed. Here we go. Now remember, write down Archangel Joe Field's name, especially when the decision comes. Now, Page of Michael. Page of Michael. Pages are one of the court cards. They have an underlying work energy to it, but they're also strategic thinking. Michael is air energy. It is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. It's very, I feel like this is very strategic and especially something with that new moon in Libra. Remember I was talking about cutting, it was cutting away the lies, cutting away to just see what, what needs to be done. That You are cutting away. You are looking at it extremely. Like I said, it's like almost laser. You're like laser focused on this. Now, Again, I, I feel like this, these calculations are in my brain and it's like, okay, you know, I, I don't even want to go through it because there's just too many. Anyway, truthful, perceptive, analytical, blunt, an exciting new challenge. So that could be your decision. You have what it takes to succeed. So remember, don't, don't, don't let worry, you know, lack of self-confidence. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly, especially in Mercury season. Next card, here we are, the Page of Ariel. So, remember I said the pages do have a work energy. The pages, so there is, you know, so this does seem to do something, seem to relate to Earth energy. This does seem to relate to your energy. Also Capricorn and Taurus energy. A lot, something, someone you can touch, but a lot of this has to do with work, job, or career. And it looks like you're going to try for it. You're going to go for it. It looks like you're eager for this. This is a new, this is new. You, you know, you're, you're up to the challenge for this also. You are more than up. You are more than ready. You are more than ready, my Virgos. Anyway, reliable, clever, educated, balanced. Now that, you know, that could be something to do with, you know, that Libra thing going on. So probably you might hear something or you might make your decision Wednesday, Thursday. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education, time to get to work. So I was talking, didn't I talk about training or something like that and completion of some training? So let's go on. Now I know, I know that for you, my Virgos, there's a couple of things, you know, there's so much energy going on, we're getting closer to the veil, you have that spiritual connection, you know, we talk about that, um, you know, again, reach out, not to say, please, reach out to higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, but then also remember, Archangel Jophiel came to your attention, okay? Okay. <laughs> Here we go, last card. It is reversed. Here we are. The eight of earth. It looks like if this is a job, if this is a promotion, if this is, you know, I don't know, um, you know, if you are doing your end of year reviews, are we, is it too soon yet? I don't know. But it's like this is earth energy, your energy again, eights, remember, sideways, uh, you know, infinite, infinite possibility, infinite opportunities. This is all about what, you know, all your effort, everything you've been doing, you know, your, you know, what you have seeded is coming to, you know, coming to fruition. Your skilled work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic, but you could be going back to school also. So there could be, you know, that training thing, that learning thing, but that would make sense if this is a promotion, if this is, you know, if this is a new job. So it looks like, like there could be some changes, especially in your finances and your work energy, you know, and you might start hearing about them this week. Okay? Okay. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Now, my Virgos, if you enjoy my readings, please, the button. It does help if you like, share, subscribe. It really, really does. As always, my Virgos, Know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.